right, we're on the West Mendip Way. We've left Draycott's lights. We left um, Pretty and Westbury Sub Mendip a long time, hours ago. Now you can imagine this being like a stream. This should take us gently down to Cheddar. But there are other routes. See, now if you went through that gate, that might take you down to Draycott. But they, of course, they never, no one tells you anything. You see, so um, there's a lot of guesswork. There were four people ahead of me, walking like they were on a march. I didn't think they were taking anything in. But of course, the next thing there's a way that way. Down to Draycott, but there's Cheddar. There's Cheddar over there. And we're following this route. And we're keeping our fingers crossed there's no cows. But there's a possibility there is one. There's some in there, look. Yeah. They are around. If they can get in here. They seem to be fenced off. It looks a bit nasty, don't they? Look a bit warm, oh, but I don't know if I went in that field. Because you went in there, I used to go in there with them. We can be heroes just for one day. I do tend to forget as well. I like mean, do I have to go through the gate or do I go to the other side of the gate? You know, even though I've done it before, I've done it twice before. We'll be out of the wind again in a minute. <laughs> yeah, cows back there. So there's a few of them. I don't really want to bump into any. They'll be very frisky times. But of course, you've a group of you, four of you. You know, you're going to be brave, aren't you? You're going to be very brave. Like I said, I used to be brave. You, you get chased. I'll tell you what. Your opinion would change. I don't care what you say, especially when people have been killed and over the past couple of years. In the southwest, they've been trampled to death. Right, that says the West Mend Way. An ancient track, a very ancient pathway used by all sorts of people travelling through Somerset. This goes on to the East Mendip Way when you get to somewhere like Shepton Mallet or Froome, I think. Or even Wells. I think the Wells could be the place where it changes to the East Mendip Way. And you've got lots of tributaries like the Monarch's Way. There's other walks um, that feed off it as well. But it's a pleasant little walk. I videoed it before but probably with an inferior camera because normally when I get to this stage my good cameras run out and it has to have um, the less good one. Now all we've got to hope and pray is when we get down here there's a field I've got to cross Um, that possibly has cows in it. Like I said, those people in front of me, they were walking very fast. Now you see, I couldn't go out with a, they're my age group, probably older. I couldn't go out with anyone at the moment walking that quickly because um, I've got to build my strength up again. Um, and I'm on this experiment with this medication, Perindaprol, 
to help the blood flow better, get the oxygen, which is what I was deprived of in the lungs. I couldn't get the oxygen into my lungs properly. And of course now I've got probably, I've got bruised ribs from a fall. But it's all downhill now. It's a glorious day and I'm absolutely enjoying it. All the old features of Somerset everywhere you go, these old walls, look. This will all be very pretty later when you will get wildflowers out. The wind's above us. Um, and I came, what I did last week, about a mile, half a mile back there, instead of coming down here, I branched off down um, a drove that took me over to um, the top and back down the gorge, along the top of the gorge. But today I had, I planned to do this, to come down through, um, Old English lane, ancient route. It wasn't always called the West Mendip Way, by the way. I think the Rotary Club invented that. But it has been an ancient route, even so. Somebody comes out and they help clear the stones and clip the hedges a bit for walkers. You know, and, and it helps maintain it as well. Yeah, God, I'm just so lucky to be able to do all this. So lucky. That's what I said. I want. I want to come out every other day. I. I like to explore different routes. I have. I don't hardly come out much at all in the winter. I mean, basically, I just do round western, the woods the beach, uphill and sand bay. I don't even go over to sand bay in the really bad part of the winter. I ought to really because I could get some good shots. Well, I'm going to be quiet for a minute so you can hear the birds. I always say to people you can turn my video, the volume down if you don't want to hear me rambling. So I am a chatterbox. Right, shh, as Bailey would say. Shut your mouth. It doesn't seem to be any cows, so that's good, isn't it? Can't 
see any. Look at that big suspect there. I'm sure there was a building there in the past. Maybe there was. A bit boggy here, you know? Done well to avoid bogs so far. I'm sure there was a building there. It's not there now, but I think there still probably is a farm around the corner. Now, last year, when I first came here, I wasn't quite sure where to go. There were signs leading in there, and signs leading into that field. I ended up going in that field because there were cows all around here, and I didn't want to go near them. I was frightened. Um, now, this is, this is signposted quite well here, you see. You can go to Draycott there. And um, oh yeah, Samaritan's Way. That's another one, like West Mendip Way. Um, but I didn't know what to do. I had a feeling it would be that way, but I ended up climbing up and up and up, getting over fences and then another field and over and over and over until I had to do the gorge in the end, just to not go near the cat. So no, at least you've got a choice here. Um, what you do, we go down here. It's a nice gentle slope, but probably quite steep to climb up. I haven't done it the other way around, but I'm sure there used to be a building there. Oh, we thought it was a farm. Yeah, that's probably some sort of drinking hole there. Yeah, water coming down. Look at that, looks nice and clean, doesn't it? Yeah, I am sure there was a building there. And anyway, like I'm saying, I ended up going I think it was into that field there, and then up there, and, and through a gate there. Um, I was, there was cows all around here, so I didn't really see these signs, you see. I didn't really see those signs. I didn't know where that would take me. I still don't. I had, my instinct told me to come down here, but of course I didn't because of the cows. But the second visit I did, there were, the cows weren't here, or they were further up. I think they were further up. But yeah, they were in that film. I crept past. I crept past them. And, uh, yeah, there was some sort of building there. I've got, I've got it on the other videos. Yeah, we've come quite a way. There, though. So you've always got to be wary where you come because there are some more cows on occasions. There's no evidence of it. So this is part of the walk you do. Towards the end, you're going to be coming into Cheddar on the outskirts of. Uh, Draycott, you're still skirting Draycott, which is over there. And then you find your way, weaving and out little pathways. And there's a reservoir in front of us over there. Like I said, the weather's not very good for distant photographs at the moment. I 
I'm doing so much because since I got the storage facility for the battery, I'm able to do much longer videos. Much longer videos. Which is what I used to do before. Of course, not everybody wants to watch them all the way through, so then I started doing smaller ones. Then you don't get as much content. It's nice to get the whole picture, isn't it, really? I mean, over there we've got Crook's Peak in the back of the Mendips, which I'll be doing. Um, I will be doing that shoot shelf hill and all that. That's all on the agenda. And I'm walking back from Crook's Peak to Western, across the fields where there's also risks of cows again. Yeah, you wonder if the Romans were here with these ter this terracing here, if they would have had their grapes. Because I was, I was always told that in my history lessons, that the Romans would scoop out a bowl like this and have terracing for, for vegetation. But it might be not in the past, wouldn't it? What a lovely walk I've had today, though. What a lovely walk. What a lovely, lovely walk I've had. Oh, I'm so happy and I'm so lucky. And I'm not neglecting people. I had to work hard and I had to look after four children and they've forgotten all that. They've also forgotten that when I was very young at student, I had Zara and I lived in one room for two and a half years with the use of a kitchen and garden. Oh, my God, I've seen a cow, look. Look, everyone. I've suddenly seen a cow. Where on earth did that come from? It could be a bull. 